Okay, YouTube, I promised you a video of what we're using as a coop. So this is uh, part of my barn, actually. I've got, uh, the barn's kind of sectioned off into three areas. This is kind of a side lean-to. It'd be on the west side of the barn. Is that right, west? Yeah, that's right. So, just uh, the inside of the barn here. I built a... Uh, big roost bar for them obviously not for the meat birds they're not going to get up on that but my egg birds are going to love it um, I actually have that up on hinges you can see those three hinges back there and uh, what that is for is you'll see I've got that string going up to an eye hook with a pulley Coming back down to a cleat on that post right there. What that allows me to do is lift that bar up, that entire roosting bar, and clean up underneath it. Which, if you don't have chickens, is very important to do because they're going to love to sit up on that and just crap right behind them and on each other. Um, really pretty simple uh, roost. I made that with uh, some 2x4s. And I just got some dowel rod. I think that's one inch dowel rod. And I just ran holes through it, marked it out, ran holes through it. Um, and on the back side, I've actually got screws coming into that dowel rod to hold it in place so it doesn't rotate. And these bars actually, they don't go anywhere and they're good and solid. So that's what I've got for them over there. Over on this side, um, that wall right there, that's where the nesting boxes are going to go once I get them in. I'm going to repurpose some old uh, uh, shelving units that were actually in the barn when I bought it. Uh, try and reuse as much stuff as I can. Um, the door I came in right there is just a screen door that's repurposed. It used to be on our back door of the house. Um, got kind of in a bad way i said well looks like junk on the house but i sure can use it out in the barn so it's been repurposed and it goes in here uh, that's the front right there i've got two sliding doors in the front this is an, obviously an old post and rail barn um, those two sliding doors it, behind those i put this kind of a trap door in i guess you want to call it that way uh, my intent is kind of the same way on that. I can, I got that up on hinges. I'm going to put another one up on that other side, and I'm going to put it on hinges. And uh, what's going to be able to be done there is those, those swinging doors will be able to swing up and uh, get out of the way. I'll be able to bring a tractor in here and clean this out better. Uh, we'll be able to open this up and just, you know, general cleaning and whatnot be able to be done. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, a half-inch mesh hardware cloth on those door sections right there so that during the summer when it's good and hot, I can open up that bay door and I'll be able to air it out, um, be able to get a good breeze going in through here, um, get the chicken some fresh air. Uh, it's going to be more important for the meat birds than for the, for the egg birds because... You can see this, I have cut in a kind of a coop door. I have it blocked right now. But if I take this, this isn't the best for video, but I can swing this open and hook this latch. And then uh, the chicken's got a ramp that they can go out into the yard. And they've got a ramp on the inside that they can use to get there. Uh, it did work last year for the egg birds when I had them, even though I didn't have them for very long. Uh, they did use it. They went in and out. Um, got kind of this brick right here and kind of props right there. I really, really don't need this center block, but I put it there just because anyway. Um, I put that block in there like that because obviously that's a great place for critters and coons and what not to come straight in through. Um, I'm not going to show you the run right now because the run is 
not usable. Uh, the fencing has come down because I had to take some trees down around it. Um, so I have the fence down and some posts pulled and I actually have to get that run back up and run it running for the egg birds for when they get back in here but I've got some things in the works and hopefully we'll be able to get that done uh, still this year. Uh, the way I've got this set up in here for feeding is I've got one of the big feeders, one of the three gallon waters, another feeder and another water. Um, the guys actually love it out here from what I can tell. They've got obviously a thousand times more room to move and more importantly grow so that they can be edible. Um, for some reason they're liking the area over there with the extra bales of straw. Um, I don't know why. There's nothing special about that over there. Oop, cockfight. So, but they are, uh, they're up and around and they're a lot more active out here than they were in the troughs. Um, they're looking a lot healthier. Um, I told you I would talk to you about, a little about what happened in the uh, other trough that caused the kerfuffle. Um, I think what happened was we had another leak in one of these three gallon waters and the birds all rushed down to the other end. Um, a friend of mine that I told you about before, he told me that there's a, um, something, I think he called it trough flu or it wasn't bird flu, but it was something like trough flu or um, coop flu or something like that where when the birds are, there's too many in, in one area they will, uh, um, it wasn't flu, I'm sorry, it was pneumonia, coop pneumonia or something like that. They'll get uh, kind of sick and they'll get shivery and um, let me zoom in on this guy right here because he's a good example of what they were looking like and they're kind of pink and peaked and almost looking sweaty. Um, he's getting his color back, getting cleaned up a little bit being out here. Um, they're all a lot more active out here. Uh, again, I think I was just getting them to uh, um, group together in the troughs. Um, they seem to be really moving around and and enjoying life a little bit more. What what life they have left? Um, but the uh, straw that was out here, as you can see, they've already been scratching, making bare spots in it. Um, as this goes. This straw is going to get matted down and packed, and it is going to just get full of bird poo. Um, when Before I move the uh, egg birds out here, we'll have a very extensive cleaning done out here and try and get as much of that up as we can. The egg birds are a much cleaner bird, no matter the breed. Um, these guys, once they get used to it out here a little bit more, they're going to be doing just a lot of standing around eating and crapping. Um, I wanted to show you the loft I've got up here as well. I've got a bunch of straw up here and that's basically just straw storage for when we do this. The goal for me this year, I want to um, take this whole area and put a loft over the entire thing, uh, help protect from critters coming in through the tops uh, as you can see, hopefully, I've got some netting up to kind of cover the whole area over here. But again, that top post right there, that big beam, uh, hopefully have a, uh, a loft that goes over that. I may even get frisky and cut a small door in on this side on the south wall. Uh, I've got a field behind me. Um, I've got some yard back there and we get a lot of deer come up to the back. I think if I do it right I can use this as kind of a tree stand of sorts and uh, possibly do a little hunting from up here right above the coop which would work out really good for me. I would like that. It would be nice and warm and I wouldn't freeze my buns off. Um, more on that as that progresses. If that progresses, that's my plan. Not all my plans follow through. So again, this is uh, how much room they have, which is a ton. 
Uh, I got them out here two days ago, I believe. I uh, gave them a full bag of food between these two feeders. This feeder is just about empty. And this feeder was overflowing when I started, so there's, they are working it down pretty decent. Um, as you can see, they spit some of it out and it lands around the feeder. And I let them pick at that too. So this gives you a better idea of what's going on with the birds and what my goal is once they get out of the uh, troughs, they come out here to the coop. Um, I think I'm down to about 40, 44 birds now. Oh, and that reminds me, the rare exotic that was in with these guys, unfortunately was one of the five that um, suffered the uh, kerfuffle and is no longer with us. So unfortunately we don't have that guy with us. Uh, but that leaves me all meat birds and I won't have any uh, egg birds or exotics out here for any amount of time by themselves. Uh, it'll just be uh, the, the meat birds until I take them into slaughter and then we'll go straight into the egg birds after that out here. And I have already shot a video on the egg birds. Uh, today is day one of the egg birds. Uh, I'm having all kinds of technical difficulty trying to get this stinking video spliced together because I actually shot it in uh, two sets. Uh, there's a little section I needed to edit and uh, being a real pain in my butt, the computer is giving me all kinds of fits and apparently my memory card, or not my memory card, my uh, video card uh, isn't up to the task of Windows Media uh, or Windows uh, Movie Editor, which shouldn't take up much of anything, but apparently does kill my computer every time I try and edit the video, it, uh, it's killing me. So I've downloaded another uh, video editing software. I'm gonna give that a shot. Uh, but as soon as I downloaded that, it says, hey, guess what, you have a virus. So I don't know what's going on. I'm running a scan right now. So I thought I'd come out here and shoot a quick video and let you guys see how the guys are doing. I don't know if I mentioned that in any of my first videos. Uh, one of the options you have when you order these through Murray McMurray is whether or not you want to order uh, males, females, or a straight run, which is where they don't even check the sex of the birds. I order males for my meat birds because they grow faster than the females. Um, somebody had told me at one point that it takes about another two weeks uh, two to three weeks for the females to get up to the same size and sometimes the females don't even get up to uh, The same size as the males. They're just uh, a little bit smaller So I thought for the money. It's uh, it makes sense to get all males. Uh, so that's what I do when I get my uh, get my meat birds, so Yeah, they won't be running for too much longer They're gonna be putting too much weight on to keep that kind of activity going but anyway uh, Again, if you have any questions or comments, uh, go ahead and leave them down below. Hope you guys are enjoying these updates, and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.